Yes. Are you recording? Oh yeah, no, totally. Good. You came at a good time. I've just finished my latest creation. Bro, oh, I have to take a look. Why don't you just eat my salad What's in peace? That? Oh, this! It's a Nova Cannon. It's a weapon that uses the sun's energy to generate a powerful beam. Attach this to your weapon. ride pod, and then you'll have nothing to fear. But fear itself. And dang, that thing is scary. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dr. Osman. No problem. Anyway. Oh, good. We got that because we got 100% completion. Now, if you would like to, you can go and check a uh, Georama map to find out where all the little chests are. So is that not the main lab? No, it's that. Oh, well, since you're here, we go for the side of the uh, tent, of the walls, remember? It's probably those purple things. Yeah, it's that. Good. Simple of Linda Lab. Excellent. Yeah, feel free to go look at a Georama thing, but I think it's, uh... Ah, here's one. It's a whole bunch of little chests all over the place, and I'm pretty sure we can get all of them. So let's just do a quick little, uh, sweepy sweep. Searchy search. And I'll check and make sure that there's nothing else that needs to go, uh... Yeah, extra photography, because I think there was one more thing that we needed. Let's see, uh, let's see. Hey. Uh, something in the main lab. Something in the main lab. Hey, Fred of Eden! Uh, get that, something in the main lab. Main lab. No, there's like four or five things in the main lab. Okay, cool. I'm still running around the place uh, looking for a little chest to open. Yep, yeah, no, go right ahead. By the way, what day is it? 119 in the future. Oh, okay. Hey, fine. Mm. There's no actual time because we are in the future and we okay. come back the at the future. same time. That's time, of day. time has been deleted in the future. I mean, I think that's half the plot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is the entire plot. That's why we're restoring all of these old uh, points and stuff, is because time is being deleted. Oh. Yeah, Gaspard went back in time a hundred years to destroy the origin points of very important places uh, in in the future, so they wouldn't exist. Uh, yeah, the giraffe. Basically, we destroyed like the entire world. Other than Palm yeah. Brinks, because specifically Palm Brinks in the Zelmite mines had the Red Alamelia Stone, and the person who Gaspard is working for wanted the Red Alamelia Stone. So he just went back in time and got it? Yeah, he used the Blue Alamelia Stone to go back in time a hundred years, destroyed most of the entire world. Uh, Actually, to me, actually, it was uh, Flotsam who was uh, intimidating the mayor on behalf of uh, Emperor, on, on behalf of Gaspard, who did all of this on behalf of Emperor Griffin, who actually lives ten thousand years in the past. So we have to use oh. this to find a way to go back in time uh, ten thousand years. This is just Chrono Trigger all over again. Yes, but better because I've actually played this game. And I think this was the one that we were already in before. So there shouldn't be any chests here. Yeah, no, there's that little fella. And no chest over yep. here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Alright. 
So this may sound stupid. What is it, me? What's up? Oh, hey. I just got a thing. Yeah, this may sound stupid, but, um... Does time just not pass in the past while you're in the future? Apparently not. We go back in time to the exact point where we left. Is Interesting. Alright, right. cutscenes! So... Oh, this is Luna Lab. Just think of what I can make with all this. This is Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory, the greatest research facility in the world. Lunatic. This is the central lab, the biggest research room of them all. Hey, I bet they can make something to send us back 10,000 years here. I bet you you're right. I bet you you're right. I'd stake your life on it. <laughs> Thanks to you, the lab's been completely restored to its former state. How do you know what its former state I really was? Appreciate it. Now let me explain my plan for getting you to Griffin 10,000 years in the past. Really? Sure, there's nothing this Luna Lab can't do. Oh, wow! Ixion, a time traveling locomotive. A fantastic non stop express that can cross both time and space. I like a regular train that just crosses space. When this is finished, you'll be able to travel 10,000 years into the past, where Griffin is. As long okay. as there's train tracks. Okay, why, don't you, why don't you go and build this thing, then send it back to us so we can just take it into the past? Why do we have to wait? Amazing! How much longer will it take? It'll, it's already ready. Well, let's see. Well, let me check. But one more chapter. Boom, 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 boom. Dr. Jamming. Jamming? What? what? Now hold on a minute. This is not the same jamming that attacked you back in the past, okay? Well, not exactly the same anyway. He happens to be his grandson. Dr. Jamming's grandson? I'm terribly sorry. It seems my grandfather caused you a lot of trouble. Please accept my apology. However, without my grandfather's research, I would have never been able to develop the Ixion. My grandfather was researching technology that would allow objects to float on the air using sound. He called this his aeroharmonics flying technology. However, he came to a dead end in his research and became desperate. That's when Gaspard persuaded my grandfather into becoming one of Griffin's servants. But when he lost that battle to you two, he had a change of heart. He rededicated himself to his research and was able to perfect his aeroharmonics technology. Perfect. He perfected aeroharmonics? Many flying vehicles were developed after that based on his technology. Of course, the Ixion here takes advantage of the same technology, and by combining it with the space-time control panel I developed, my grandfather has passed away. But before he died, he told me I should use his research for something good and just. I tried to carry on his wishes, and I think that by continuing his research, this world can truly be saved. Dr. Jamming, he was quite a guy. Yes, and you helped him become the man he was. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say... But that's strange. In the history I know, aeroharmonics technology was never perfected. Boom. Our travels must be creating a new history for the world. Do you think that's okay? 
Well, I'm still getting the hang of this, but I'm thinking that maybe history as you know it is not necessarily the one true history. Huh? As well as fixing the flow of time that Griffin has disrupted, we've also been able to add new flows to it. And though these have been different from the original flows, maybe they're meant to be the real world history. Ultimately, you could say that even Griffin himself is playing a necessary part in creating a new, complete history. Griffin? Necessary? You can't be serious! Well, why not? Doctor, something terrible's happened! The rebel forces in the West are coming under attack from Griffin! Oh! Uh -oh. What? Attacked? Get me Elena! You know that name, don't you? That name is familiar, yes. Huh? Elena. Your name, mother. Just who is my mother? And why isn't she with us? Even my own father wouldn't answer my questions. Now I realize that father hoped I would find out those answers for myself. Doctor, this is Elena. We're fighting Griffin's main army over here. If it carries on like this, Griffin will probably attack the Luna Lab too. Be careful. Mother? Is that... Is that Max? Yes. You mean this boy is Elena's... That's right. Max is Elena's son. Max, I'm sorry. I'll bet your father never told you what happened to me. That's right. I don't think but you exactly why? have time for this. Max, we live in different worlds. What? Literally. Technically, it's the same world. It's all right, Max. I'll explain everything. I'll tell you why I couldn't go on living with you. But to explain that, I need to explain what's going on in this world now. What do you mean by that? I'm from the future, just like Monica. Our time has changed greatly because of the devastation caused by Emperor Griffin. We couldn't let Griffin get away with it. So the people of our time formed a rebel force to fight against him. But Griffin began to use the power of the stone. Stone? One of the fate Fabled Atlamulia stones that possess great powers. Powers that can move the earth and control time. Griffin harnessed that power to rewrite history bit by bit. He turned on people and erased their very existence from history. Atlamulia are strange jewels with a will of their own. They choose their owners themselves. So that's why whenever I try to do this as a DD campaign, I look for having players play the parts of the Atlamelias themselves. Okay. Legend has it that Atlamelia will only choose for their owners people of good heart. We don't know how Griffin has managed to get his hands on one of the Atlamelia. But the fact is, he can use the power of that stone. And for us to be able to fight him, we needed one too. Three Atlamelia exist in the world. The first is the Sunstone, which Griffin possesses. I hope you're keeping notes. This is going to be on the test. The other two are the Moonstone, which emits a blue light, and the Earthstone, which emits a red light. Griffin tried to increase his powers by gaining possession of the remaining two Atlamelia. So he searched for the remaining two stones. First, we traced the owner of the Moonstone. That was Monica's father, King Raybrandt. At first we thought we could inherit the Atlamelia from King Raybrandt to help us in our fight against Griffin. But the stone wouldn't accept anyone among us as its 
owner. And so, in the end, we were unable to get the stone. We guarded King Raybrand so that the stone would not fall into Griffin's hands. We decided to protect the person that the stone had chosen from the threat of Griffin. But Griffin was devious, and he assassinated King Raybrand. Griffin didn't get his hands on the stone, though. The stone refused to become Griffin's, and instead chose King Raybrand's daughter, Monica, as its new owner. That's how the second stone came to be Monica's. And so we looked for the last remaining Atlanulia, the Earth Stone. But we couldn't find it, because it didn't exist in our time. According to the prophecy of the great sage, Crest, the Earth Stone existed Crest. 115 years in the past. Its owner was a young boy called Gerald. We knew that Griffin would use his powers to travel through time and go back to Gerald's era looking for the stone. In order to protect the Red at Lemuria, I traveled to Gerald's time. And I made it my job to protect him. But during the time I was with Gerald, I fell in love with him. And then, Max, you were born. The first five years of your life went by in a flash. Literally, because I time travel. I had to return to my own time. Because the war against Griffin was intensifying. I said goodbye to you and Gerald, and I returned to my time. I haven't been able to see you since. My mother is from the future? That's right, and we are the ones that were chosen by these two Atlanulia. But I... I was just given this stone by my father. No, not exactly. Your father couldn't even touch it anymore. He must have realized the stone had chosen a new owner. Gerald couldn't touch it himself, but he saw you could play with it without effect. The Atlanulia chose you as its new owner. So Gerald let you have it. I think that the Atlamelia have reasons for who they choose as their owners. There's probably even a reason why Griffin was chosen. A reason he was chosen? That's right. Like what? That I don't know. But the stones are guiding people for the sake of something great. So Max, whose intuition was probably right. I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks like we haven't any more time to talk. Yeah, there's Just kind of a war going on. If we can recreate Pasnos, we'll have a chance to fight back. Recreate Pasnos? But how? Max and Monica will recreate its origin point, of course. The origin point of Pasnos is a workshop in Heimwada, a village at the foot of Mount Gondor. You'll have to head there. But Mount Gundor is a dangerous place. I'm not sure if you... We'll be fine, Elena. Just leave it to us. Don't worry, Mother. I'll save you. Just stay here. Max. Okay. Take care. Both of you. You bet! now and set out for your next goal the volcano mount gundor a huge factory the gundorado workshop will be built there in the future that's where the rebellion army's ace in the hole pasnos will be built pasnos it was the mobile stronghold of our rebel army griffin wiped pasnos out but if we could bring it back i bet we can make a counterattack. then let's go to mount gundor Wait, no. Hey, Max, Monica. How's that bridge? So what's what's up, Cedric? Anyway, I found my mom. We finished the repairs ages ago, guys. Then let's head for Mount Gundor. All right. 
So anyway. So what do you think of all that? Plot. What, what time is it now? 11, 18 a.m. Good. Back to the future. Wait, Funari battle thing. We have to go and say goodbye to Pow at one point. Don't, uh, don't let me forget to say goodbye to Pow. Okay. But first, we have pictures to take. All right, go inside the main lab again. Isn't like this thing a picture? No. All right, back inside for more cutscenes. Oh, I hope not. Okay. Uh, all right. The Futuron 800 made of large glowing columns with pipes. Well, you need that too. Got it. So you have the Futuron and the S. <laughs> yes. Uh, the projector hanging from the ceiling in the main lab. That's the work arm. I don't see a projector. Is that it? It's the projector. The Neo projector. Uh, is that it? No, this was the whatever bloody blah 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 system. Okay, stop. Turn around. Okay, now look in and look up. You see the little oh, things that thing that's right next oh, to the work on. Okay. You got the searchlight, you got that thing, you got the work arm. Yes. Uh, obviously, you got the this System 5 WP2. Yes. You got the searchlight. Yes. You got the Neo you got Futuron, you got the energy pipe for the small labs, along with the egg chair and the air cleaner. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that's it. Let me just double check and make sure there aren't any of the, uh... Let's go... Oh, man, so we'll see what that is now. So, look for it. Is there anything else that we need? Off of on the fish... Fish contest stuff. Oh, it's a right pod pod. Alright, uh, now what was it here? SW four? No, SWM SMP. What what the heck was the thing? System five W something? S five? No, S four. No. Can you take a look at it please? I'm pretty sure it began with that. System oh but it is system five WP two. Uh okay. Okay. We got it all? Right. I remember why you needed this. Go to your make. Okay, so we need the system. Yeah, you need that. You need the belt and the car. Hmm. Hey! Sage. Yeah, I have a feeling it's a little buggy. Oh, you have no idea. We don't have enough capacity for this. 
which is rather unfortunate. How do you increase your capacity for the thing? Uh, we have to beat, we have to get EXP with the ride pod. And, yeah, we have to get experience with the ride pod, then buy new cores, and the new cores will give us more capacity to put on bigger things. So we could do a bit of a grinding session with the ride pod just so we could get the buggy with it, which I kind of want to do because the buggy is... Can you verify what uh, speed of club you have? Stick, turkey, swan, flamingo. And what was the other one? Flamingo, swan, turkey. Well, you had three in storage. I had a stick. You had uh, four in storage, including the stick. I had two turkeys. Okay, that'd be why. Okay. Well, that was... What? What's wrong? I'm supposed to be able to do a thing with them. Um, I'm supposed to be able okay. to do a thing. Say What's up? Dark. Okay, you want to say Dark Cloud to his name is Pau, P A U. Yeah, uh, keep looking up the sticks thing. What do I need for sticks? What do you mean, sticks? The Sphita Clubs. Oh, uh, what do I need let's for see this? here. The next thing is you need are stuff that you get in Chapter 5. Okay. One of the, basically, because you, you'll be able to make the Albatross and the Falcon, and then you'll have every club. Okay, so on to Chapter 5 then, I suppose. Um... Yep. However, there is going to be some missable stuff. Of course there is. Supposed to be a whole thing with them, but I guess we can't do that yet. Eek. I'm gonna just look up this real quick. Okay, yeah, we can't we can't do the thing yet. We have to come back to him like later. Okay. It actually looks like there's a couple of ideas in at least one scoop that are missable, apparently from fairly early on in Chapter 5. So. Alrighty then, here we go! Mount Gundor, here we come! Well, it's your job to make sure we don't miss any of that. Right, exactly. Cinnamon? Meow. Yeah. Someone's like, I'm just a cat. I'm here to smell your leftover salad. Don't ask me questions. <laughs> Let me use your lap to get back down to the ground. Okay. Where should we go? To Heim Rider or that's it? Yes, Heim Rider. It's not time for the fishing contest yet, so. We're just going to run to the fishing contest, take some pictures, and that's it. We're not even going to fish for it. I assume, yes, you have nothing to help with conflict of the past and future isn't that the entire game uh it comes to a climax here but this is chapter five there's at least eight chapters yes but this is like the climax What's of this? the conflict it's raining embers something is definitely up the village of heim rada should be here at the foot of mount gundorf but I guess it got wiped out, too. Let's keep going, then, Monica. Be careful out there, you two. There's nothing much we can do this time, so we'll just take it easy on the train. Okay, guys? If you need any help with anything, just let us know. Boom! <laughs> wink, wink. They can now be put in the Giorama. Wink, wink. Or is that telling you that you're supposed to? I'm pretty sure of it, yes. Alright, you should see some geysers around in Heimrata. Take a picture of one of them, absolutely. 
And make sure you take a picture of one of them before you start filling them in with mud. Yeah, I'll just take a picture of one right away. Which, by the way, you'll need to take a picture of some mud. Oh, of course. I'll just see your ship again. Gave you a little bit of a hint as to another thing you need to do. Not build uh, wood or straw buildings. Well, actually, you do need to place at least one wood or straw building. Why? So, yeah, just place a wood or straw thing. Fine here. Okay, now leave the area. Oh, leave? Yep. Okay, see Do ya, I house. Think. And, uh... Now go back. I wonder how that house is doing. It's probably fine. It's only been like two, like 12 seconds. Yeah, take a picture of that. Cinders. <laughs> Believe me, that's important. We need that for our Georama stuff? Let's clean it up now. What if we... No, we can't. Okay, okay. Um... Let's see. What, you're gonna try to just... What? See if you can place something made of metal and see if it works. Oh, I know that putting something made of metal will, like, work and stuff. Uh... Do you know how to make mud? No. Of course not. What is the analysis? Like, empty? Wait, so you don't even have any idea of how to start? We need 30 culture points, 60 culture points, 70 culture points. But if I do say this, let's go, let's go way over here, shall we? And I do say, what's, oh, it's Iron House, right? And... Sionk. 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 And then with all of that... Hey, look, we have a few dots. You don't even know what they are yet. Uh, well, not... obviously you know what they are, but... Yeah. Let's see. Let's also uh, take this big old house and throw just a chimney up there, you know? And what else can we throw on? I don't know if this is technically wood or if it would be fine. It's too expensive to try to waste. I mean, if you could look up if the windmill is uh, able to survive, that'd be nice. Okay, uh... okay, we fixed something and something else. Well, then I guess it's time to go to the future. I know what you fixed. Okay, also, well, this house. The future has been changed, however, the wooden and straw structures may burn down sometime between now and then. Uh, move people in. Now that we can move uh, Borneo in. Right up, uh, what are you looking for? What is a little bit more
Wait, how do we not have enough sticky clay for just a bunch of pots? Why? Uh, because we can. That's why. Um, what's an easy way to get just stuff? Oh, oh that's like, that's like the weather vanes, I think, won't uh, last. Let's grab more brick chimneys. You're also probably going to need some stair blocks. Some stair blocks? Well, how are they going to get up to their house? Uh, they'll just specifically never leave. Okay. Need a lot more sticky clay is what we need. I think the windmill can can stay. Place windmill. It's probably easier to do once you've you know taken care of the geysers, you know. And so if we do like say this, will it warn us? No, it won't. Oh, what's the safe spot? What's the safe? There's a safe spot. There has to be one somewhere around. Oh, also, that's an awesome fishing spot that uh, will give a rare fish. Cool. Obviously, you're going to get a rare fish. In. What? And breed? What? No, I'm saving. I'm going to save the game, then put down the windmill to see if uh, the windmill would like be destroyed. Because I don't want the windmill to be destroyed because it kind of requires a lot of stuff. I mean, for what I'm seeing, it's kind of necessary, so... Alright, there's been changes in the future. Go to the high rate to stop. Back to Heim Raider. Yep, it's here. Yep. Um. Okay, sorry, just looking for things that say, like, notes and stuff, or... Yeah, we can apparently just take all of these chests. There won't be any chests, but this is, like, the Mount Gundor workshop. Oh, okay, well, since, since we're here... What's up? There's nothing here yet. Nothing? There's a second and third floor, but there at least aren't any chests or nothing. We have the place done. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wanted to go back to the train and buy uh, sticky clay. Because we need like a bunch of sticky clay. Um, other side of the train. Hi, Cinnamon. You spend yeah. a lot of your time just sitting there staring at me. If you want something, you can use your wards like a big cat. Get my finger back. Thank you. Yo, give me sticky clay. When we bought a whole uh, mess ton of other stuff, we didn't buy a lot of sticky clay. Yeah, in fact. Let's just buy, uh, enough of this stuff. A full inventory of it? Yeah, yeah. A couple of bones to pick with just you. Just a couple. Eh, cinnamon, no. Yeah. Thanks. 
Uh, don't be a stranger. I... Wait, what's the date? What? Well, there's a fishing contest it'll say in, in the menu. It's the night. 119th. Okay, so three more hours. Basically. Anyways. And it's, you need to learn how to make mud, which I'm feeling you have to unlock from the Geostone, yes. Right. We need more culture points, which we can get easily enough if we make... The church? No, no, no. Uh, pot torches, wait, no, no, iron fences, iron fences give, iron fences do, wait, how much, we have 33 right now, if we clean up one of these brick chimneys, 29, so each brick chimney gives us, like, four. So I'll be a solid, like, 40 right there, if we can place. You the chimneys are always going. Why not? What do you think? It's a fire hazard? They're iron. They're not going to burn down. That's the point of them being iron. We actually can't put down more. <laughs> we can't put down any more chimneys. Okay. <laughs> look, at, look at this house. It has four brick chimneys. Uh, culture could points. You have, could you have distributed them among the, the buildings? I could, but it's still a limit of like five. Why don't you brick chimneys out of iron? Uh, because you can't put iron chimneys on iron houses because iron houses don't have a side and iron uh, chimneys oh. can only be put on the side of a house. Let's see. So we have 45 culture. We can put down some iron fences for culture points, I'm sure. Forty-five, and then we can get that's forty-six. So each one of these is like one. Forty-six. Eight. 50. Okay, now turn. Why? Okay. So yeah, we can get up to like about 60 some. Nope, still just 46. Uh, what else can we use? There's some iron stairs, if you wanted that stuff. Uh, iron there's... stairs, block, block three. Okay. No, I think pot torches do give some, though. How many pots did you put down? Ten. Put down two more. Uh... Wait, what's my thing that I just made? Wait, what was that? Ah, shoot. Culture's at 46. Pot torch. I mean, I'm pretty sure the legs are made of wood, so. Fine. Clean up. That's 12. That is 12. Good. That's all you need. We're already 10% of the way done. We just need more culture points. Uh, actually, you know what? If we flat out build more iron houses. Have you built a great train? A great train? What? Great train. No, we can't build the great train. Why not? Like, we don't have this stuff. We don't have the recipe for a great crane. Oh. Yeah, put on a couple of brick houses. Huh. 
Hello, neighbor. 76. Okay. I think we only need like 70. So that's pretty good. Well, apparently I'm running a total of 100 culture points. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. I mean, we can get that with like two more brick houses. Uh, what else do we need? We need... Okay. Uh, we need to like work crane and stuff. We need a windmill. We need 10 pots placed. Uh, we need Gerald to reside in High Rider. Okay. I guess he gets the one with all the, uh... Yep. Oh, all right. All right, Dad. Stay there. All right, uh, Gerald, uh, we need that. We need 100 culture points. We need Cedric in High Rider. Agandor, the resident in House's Chimney. Eric in House Neo Windmill. Oh. Where's that windmill? Hey, we do need to place Eric. Wonder how it feels for the people. It's like, hey, just stay here. I'll be right back. And you just don't see them again for the rest of your life. You get assigned a house, and like that is it. Such a besides, blah, blah, blah. Eric and house near windmill. So, and then that, and then that. Okay. 20%, and then we need. Hello, neighbors. What's up? Put one on the other. Well, I would say put one on the other side, but the things in the way. Hello, neighbors. Oh gosh. It looks beautiful. Thanks. I know I am. You only put five of a thing on one particular building. We can only put down five of a thing. Okay, we have 100 points. We're at 20% of the way done. We cannot do any more unless we do uh, story stuff. All right, let's go to the dungeon. Wait. Right, save. Wait, How I can't... Many what? Okay. I thought that I couldn't get out of the uh, Georama thing. Monica. Monica. Why do you need to save with Monica? Because obviously. Why? Because it's better this way. It's uh, it's secret strats. I won't expect you to understand. Anyway, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Eighteen rooms. Eight. See how many we need to go in. How many we need to go in? Oh my. Two who honor their mothers. I almost expect it to be like a poem. Okay, speeder on this is a nightmare, okay? Look, the walls are uneven, and if you get too close to the wall, it just falls down a pit. I've actually gotten used to it being a widescreen now. This isn't so bad. We could totally do this with just the monster transformation. I'm gonna say look at all the nice juicy experience we get, but not really. Hey, cat. Oh, look, the map. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. 
Why did I do it without healing? Oh, this one is uh, no healing floor? Yep. Hey, if I have to heal, I have to heal. Especially if I'm gonna have to deal with these things. Because those things are just annoying. Hey, buddy, come down here. Oh, gosh, Hunter Wolf, I remember you. If they hit you, it's bad, but you just have to make sure they don't hit you, and you're fine. It looks like you're going to find the soldiers. Who's it, what? When I play Rifle Wolf, is it literally a wolf with a... Yeah. Oh. It's a, it's a it's wolf with a gun. It's a wolf. Oh, I got the thing. We can go to the next floor now, and there's the uh, stone. We can just leave. Do you want to just grab the stone and leave? Kinda. Alright. I mean, because then we get the clear all without healing. Okay. Also, the episode's almost over anyway, so we might as well. Yeah. Okay, I just really hope we just, uh... Uh-oh. Eh. Come on. I love the idea, just to like, you know, go to a whole new subject, that every single person who watches my videos is someone who I've specifically like talked to to watch my videos. So everyone, like, so, so all my subscribers I got via word of mouth, specifically me telling them to check it out. So imagine hearing like a million subscribers, but I've like talked all of them into subscribing. That'd be interesting. What the? Uh, then yeah, proceed to the next floor. One down, 17 uh, rooms to go. Boom, got a medal. Exit the dungeon, go back to Heimreda. Find out what you get. How much you get mud? Probably won't get mud for a little while, I'd imagine. But hey, we can make the Great, cl great Crane. Well, you need one of those, I think, so. Wait, how many great cranes do we need? Probably just one. Yeah, just one. Just one. Okay, uh... What do we need for the great crane? Does it need to be on a specific building? Um... On any house without a chimney. Resident in a house with crane. Okay. Great crane. So maybe put it on the one beside the windmill. Because it can't be in the one with the chimney. It can't be? Uh. Hey, Dad. There's been another change in the future. Whoop. Character analysis. Thirty percent. All right, let's head to the future again. This place is massive. Yeah, it, it sucks that the buildings seem to all be very far away from how you get in. Yes. But it'll all be worth it once we spawn in and we just see Paznos. Also, yeah, there's the third floor. There's, like, crane arms and stuff. Wait, can you... What's that thing? What's what thing? The thing you're standing on. It's a teleporter. Oh. Oh. 
Cinnamon, right. stop. Psh. Take pictures of things. What things? Whose things? All right. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, is the operations room present? I don't know. Uh, do you see any strings of pink lights? No. Uh, How about we just go and, like, do more dungeon stuff and, like, build the future and then, like, go back later. Okay. Alright, see you future. I'll be back later. Have fun! If someone starts a conversation, then goes to the red portal into the oh, future. Take a picture of the crane that you put on the house. Could you say that you've been having that same conversation for a hundred years? Very uh, funny. But could you? Uh oh. Crane. Okay, and take a picture of. Oh, no, no more. Gotcha. Ah, we still need 17 more picture points in order to get the level. Wait, is the last ghost like here? Oh, hey, by the way, fishing contest? Ghost. Give me a minute. Uh, it, once you found the hot spring, yes. Yeah, I, I know where the hot springs are. Okay, good. So we have to get there at, like, what, midnight or something? Around midnight. It is way past midnight. <laughs> Yep. You're too busy help hanging around with our dungeon. I'll hang around with right, you. I don't want. I don't Scale. This... Hey, kitty. They got rid of the fountain and put in scales instead. Is there anything else? Should no, it's yeah. only just those two things, right? Oh, yeah, another fish. Yeah, can I just take that fish to uh way up instead? Okay. Are there any like hot springsy pictures that I need? Uh, I can't see. So that's the ghost one. Uh Cinnamon! Baby, stop! No, you need to build that. That's that, that's that. Ow! I'll uh, get a picture of the hot springs. Okay, awesome. I'm water. And that's it. And over here we see where the iron houses uh, conglomerate. This is Eric's house. Hi, Eric. Also, it looks like there is something you're going to have to put on the one of the brick buildings, but you can worry about that later. Hot spring pond. Awesome. 49. Good. Like, one more scoop and we'd, we'd be at, like, level 6. Yeah, if only we were here around midnight. So anyway, uh, that's been another Wait, episode. Hang on, hang on. What up? Um, uh, 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 no that, no that. No, okay, yep. Yeah, you know, we're good, go on. That's been another episode of Dark Chronicle Monster Transformations Only, and with each chapter we do, the mission becomes a lot less, a lot more murky. Any parting words before we sign ourselves away and go off to do uh, some other thing? Take pictures of everything, as long as people yeah. consent.